what we had going on here on this Fraxinus Modesto ash, we had a secondary co-dominant leader coming out of this root crown here, dividing the tree's energy into multiple trunks. So what we've done, and this has been some years ago, we've taken out the large leader, the co-dominant leader that was arising out of this root crown. After that, volunteer root crown shoots occurred. One, two, three. And those in turn powered up this area to roll cambium callus in to close this very large wound. These leaders, one by one, have been removed. And new shoots have been allowed to come up. You see these. They're much smaller, of course, and we're not going to let these run forever. We may let these reach, say, half the diameter of these original root crown shoots and no larger. And then finally, we'll excise these. We'll take all these out and the tree will have successfully closed all of these wounds at the base of the tree. We don't want a big rotting wound at the base of a tree. This is the determiner of lifespan in many cases. Those rotting decay sites will threaten the tree structurally, mechanically, and allow pathogens and decomposition organisms to get in the tree's root crown. So we're going to follow up again with our wound dressing here. We're going to put our plant terpene oil, beeswax compound, and we're going to retreat these end grains of the excised root crown shoots. We're just going to treat those. We don't want these to rot. And they haven't. They've stayed firm and sound. We see that we've got cambium callus rolling in on these wounds. You can see this is lifted up. It's raised up all the way around and the tree is actively closing these wounds up. We're making a gradual transition here. We're going to allow these shoots to occur a little while longer. They speed energy to the site, so our wounds keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller and easier and easier for the tree to cope with. We will eventually heal this whole site of all defect and decay.